This video aims to demonstrate the process for rapid sequence induction in a presumed COVID positive patient. This patient has already been fully assessed and a decision made to proceed to rapid sequence induction. The team has performed a full brief outside of the patient's room where they've donned full PPE and collected a pre-made airway RSI pack which they've brought into the room and proceeded to lay out with the standard kit dump. So I'm going to assemble the circuit that I'm going to need. So just the HEPA filter, the entitled CO2 attaches to the non-patient side and then I am got a catheter mount and a water circuit to enable pre-oxygenation. For intubation, I'm going to use a bougie. I have a size 8 tube, a Mac 4 blade, and an oropharyngeal airway in case I should need to bag my ventilate the patient. I've also got the inline tracheal suction to attach to the circuit post-intubation. And Wayne has got drugs ready for a modified RSI using ketamine, rocuronium and fentanyl. The patient will have nasal cannula in situ with oxygen at 2 litres per minute. So if you can attach those, Tracy, and we will swap the oxygen cylinder from the non rebreathe to the nasal cannula. Pre-oxygenation is now in progress. The patient's oxygen saturations are 89%. We're going to pre-oxygenate for at least three minutes and then give the intubation drugs, excepting that if the sats plummet, we may need to support ventilation during intubation. So oxygenation is in progress and we're going to do the RSI checklist. Are all staff wearing a gown, gloves, FFP3 mask or hood and face protection? Yes. Is pre-oxygenation with a water circuit and HEPA filter in process? Yes. Do not ventilate the patient routinely during induction or until the ETT cough is inflated. Monitoring wise, what is the heart rate? 116. Can it be improved? No. What is the blood pressure? 89. Blood pressure is 110 over 70. No. What are the oxygen stats? 89%. Can they be improved? No. Equipment. Which laryngoscope blade size and type will be used? We have a Mac 4 blade. Which appeal tube size and length will be used? Size 8 tube. Is the bougie size appropriate for the tube? Yeah, size 15 bougie. Are all equipment items checked? Yes. Is end time CO2 connected? Yes. Is suction turned on and pre-positioned? Yes. Is the difficult airway pack, including BVM, accessible and ready to use? Yes. Is the ventilator checked and ready to use? Yes. Is there any other rescue airway equipment needed? We have some rescue airway equipment in our difficult airway pack. Drugs. What induction agents are we using? We're going to use ketamine, one milligram per kilo. Is dose appropriate for age, weight and blood pressure? Yes. What muscle relaxant? We're going to use rocuronium, 100 milligrams. Is dose appropriate for age and weight? Yes. Are any other emergency drugs needed? We have metaraminol drawn up so that we can give boluses if required. Are there two points of adequate vascular access? Yes. Are fluids connected and running easily? Yes. Staff, who is giving the drugs? Have they been briefed? I'm giving the drugs, I am happy. Who is the intubator? Has their position been optimised? Yes. If cricoid pressure is being used, who is providing it? No cricoid pressure is being used. Who is the assistant? I am. Uh, are the team and equipment in the correct position? Yes. Yes. 
Who is providing cervical stabilization if required? Not required. Fine. Checks are complete. We should note the time. 1.40. And I'll start giving the medications now. That's the ketamine in. That's the rocuronium in. And that's flushed through at 141. So sets are falling. So Wayne, while we wait for the rocuronium, will you provide some ventilatory support with the water circuit? Happy with the ventilators that need to go down. Uh, I'd like to look for flatter, please. Right, so the saturations are as good as we're going to get, and we waited 60 seconds okay. for the rocuronium, so we'll have our first attempt. Bougie. Tube coming over the bougie. I just need a little bit more. I've got the I've got the bougie. I've got the tube. Tube is through the cord. Okay, bougie out. Bougie out and inflate the bag. Right, once the cuff is up, we can ventilate the patient. Thank you. and confirm tube placement with end tidal CO2 trace, which we've got. And we can auscultate if needed. Can you auscultate for me? If I'm holding the tube. Good air entry. Is there entry? Okay, Sets are coming up to 94. We've got an end, a good end tidal CO2 trace. So we'll tie the tube in position, which is 21 centimetres, and switch right over onto the ventilator. Okay. 